A very good day to all of you. Today we are going to learn the solve okay? solving differential equations. Use k okay? involving unit step function using Laplace transform. Okay. For example, solve y double prime plus 4y prime plus 3y equal to step function, which consists of two values, two when t greater than equal to 0 but less than 3 and when t greater than equal to 3 okay, its value is negative 2 subjected to y0 equal to 0 which means t0, y0 and y prime 0 equal to 0 means when t equal to 0 y prime, y prime equal to 0 as we learned in the okay, last lectures to solve the differential equation but in last lectures our ft is continuous function but now this is the discontinuous function so first step we need to take the laplace transform at both hand side okay before that okay, the ft is the step function we need to change it to unit step function okay unit step functions yeah here to change it to unit step functions Remember that if you have a step function gt equal to g1, g2 for different interval of t, to change it to unit step function, first of all we factor out g1, okay, it takes a g2 minus g1, okay, multiply okay, the discontinuous point at a, so multiply by ht minus a. Hence, okay, here, this one, when we change it to unit step function, it become factor out 2, so we have 2, minus 2, okay, this one, deduct the top function, negative 2, negative 2, negative 4, okay, multiply ht minus 3, okay, then now we can take the Laplace transform at both hand side, okay, at Laplace transform for y double prime, to give you s squared ys minus sy0 minus y prime 0, Plus 4 times Laplace and power first derivative will give you 4sys minus y0 plus 3 times Laplace and form of y to get you ys. This is solving using linearity property. Laplace and form for ft, okay, ft right hand side you have two functions. So Laplace and form for 2 you get 2 over s. Laplace and form for h negative 4, ht minus 3 you get negative 4. Exponent negative 3s over s. Okay, call back your formula. Ht minus a, you get exponent negative a s over s. So Ht minus 3, exponent negative 3s over s. Okay. This is a Laplace sample for y t, y prime t, y double prime t. Okay. Second step, insert the initial condition. We have the initial condition y0 equal to 0. 0, y prime 0 also equal to 0. Hence, this term gone, gone. Okay, so just left s squared ys plus 4sys plus 3ys equal to 2 over s minus 4 exponent negative 3s over s. Third step, solve for ys. Okay, mean factor out ys, ys. Ys. The term without ys will bring to right hand side, but in this case, okay, we have only all the term with ys. Okay, factor out ys. So first term, we still have the s squared. Second term, 4s. Third term, 3. So the right hand side still maintain the same expression. Okay, and then the s squared plus 4s plus 3 can be factored as s plus 1 times s plus 3. And the right hand side, you may compose it as one fraction because they have the same denominator. Become 2 minus 4 exponent negative 3s over s. Okay, solve for ys means we want one time of ys. That's why the term s plus 1, s plus 3 bring to right hand side become divide s plus 1, divide s plus 3. Now, you can take the inverse Laplace transform at both hand side. Inverse Laplace transform of ys will give you yt. To get yt, you need to find the inverse Laplace transform of 2 minus 4 exponent negative 3s over s over s plus 1 over s plus 3. Okay, 
you notice that to get the inverse Laplace at the right hand side, actually we have two expressions, uh, two terms. Okay, the first term is uh, what I highlight with the blue color. The second term, okay, they say have the same denominator. However, okay, the numerator is different. I mean, actually, I should break it okay, to two expressions. So, I mean, 2 over s over s plus 1 over s plus 3. Okay, the other term is actually, I mean, we break this expression using linearity property into two expressions. One is a red color, another one is a blue color. Inverse Laplace sum form of negative 4 exponent negative 3s over s over s plus 1 over s plus 3. For these two terms, they have the same denominator. Only denominate the numerator. Okay, first term is 2. Second term is actually negative 4, means it's negative 2 times of the first term. So we just need to find 1 time of the partial fraction. Because we are going to solve okay, the inverse Laplace transform here using partial fraction. So we no need to do twice partial fraction because they have the same denominator, only numerator for first term is 2, second term negative 4. Mean to get negative 4, you time this one by negative 2. First of all, focus on okay, partial fraction of the uh, red color, which is 2 over s over s plus 1 over s plus 3. So we have three linear factor. So we decompose into three linear term a over s plus b over s plus 1 plus c over s plus 3. Okay, and then we we'll compare the numerator because the denominator will be same. Okay. So numerator at left hand side is 2. Okay. After you do the cross multiplication at the right hand side, at least you'll get a. Okay. You have a over s. So a need to be multiplied by the other two terms, which is s plus 1, okay, s plus 3. So here, a multiply s plus 1, s plus 3. So that left side, right side have the same denominator. Okay, for B term, I change to blue color. So B, you have S plus 1. So B multiplied with the other two terms from A and C. So B multiplied with S, with S plus 3. Okay, the C term, I use a green color. C multiplied with S. C multiplied with S plus 1. In the hints, A, you multiply with the other two terms, not from A. B, you multiply the other two terms not from B. C, you multiply the other two terms not from C. So you get this one. And then to find for your okay, coefficient for A, B, C, okay, we have the linear term S plus 1, then let S equal to negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1, so you get 0, the whole A term gone. Similarly with the C term, negative 1 plus 1, you get 0, the whole C term gone, then you can find for your B. Okay, left side is constant, so it's always 2. Okay, and then for the B term, substitute S by negative 1. So negative 1 times B, we have negative B. And then S is negative 1. 3 minus 1, you have 2. That's why left side becomes negative 2B. Hence, B will be 2 divided negative 2, you get negative 1. Okay, and then I erase first. Okay, to calculate the other parameter, okay, we have the term S plus 3, then let S equal to negative 3. Left side, you still get 2. So negative 3 plus 3, the A term will gone. Okay, B term, negative 3 plus 3 get 0. So B term will gone. Then you calculate for the C term. Okay, negative 3 times C, so you have, this is negative 3 C. Okay, negative 3 plus 1, you have negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 3, you have positive 6c here. Hence c is 2 divided by 6, which is 1 third. Okay, lastly, you have the linear term s, the linear term s, then let your s equal to 0. Okay, the s equal to 0, because you have one more linear term s, then let s equal to 0. Okay, if s 0, if this is 0, okay, the b term totally 0. If S is 0, the C term totally 0, and S 0, S 0 here. So left side you have 2, right side A times 1 times 3, so it is 3A. Hence A is 2 divided by 
3. Plug in the ABC value. So the true over S over S plus 1 over S plus 3 factor out uh, 1 third. So A is still have 2 over S. B, since B is negative 1, factor out, uh, divide 3, so multiply back 3. So it's 1 third times negative 3 over S plus 1. The C, 1 third, so 1 over S plus 3. Hence the inverse Laplace for this is the first term, eh, the red color. Inverse Laplace of 2 over s over s plus 1 over s plus 3 will be equal to 1 third inverse Laplace of 2 over s minus 3 over s plus 1 plus 1 over s plus 3. So inverse Laplace of 2 over s will get 2. Inverse Laplace of negative 3 over s plus 1 will get negative 3 exponent negative t. Okay, inverse Laplace of 1 over s plus 3, you get exponent negative 3t. Okay, this is 2, okay, 1. And then remember, okay, to find yt, here you have solved the red color, you still have the blue color, minus 4. Okay, minus 4 exponent negative 3s over s over s plus 3. Hence, you find a partial fraction for minus 4. Okay, don't find together with exponent negative 3s, huh? That one solve using using second shift. Okay, solving partial fraction. Make sure your numerator is only either polynomial, only yeah, not involving your exponential term. Because for my experience, some of the students will find the partial fraction of the blue term, including exponential term. Okay, don't find the partial fraction including your exponential term. Huh? This one can be solved using second shift property. You just need to find partial fraction for negative 4 over s over s plus 1 over s plus 3. You have find okay, you have found the partial fraction for the red color, which is 2 times. Okay, now numerator become negative 4 times means the partial fraction for red color you multiply by negative 2. Because neg 2 times negative 2 you get negative 4. Hence you get the result for partial fractions in there. Number 1 here. Number one, if you want here negative four, okay, mean you multiply this one by negative two, right? If you multiply this one by negative two, then you have negative four times. Hence, the result in number one, you just multiply by negative two. Negative two, so mean result in one, you multiply by negative two, then you get the partial fraction for negative four over s over s plus one over s plus three. Because they are only the numerator is negative two times, so no need to redo your partial fraction. After you have obtained in number one, just multiply it by negative two times. Because two compared to negative four, this is negative. The blue color is negative two times of the red color. Okay, but not considering exponential term, you cannot find partial fraction involving exponential terms. Huh? Hence, the blue color term without the explanation term in the negative 4 over s over s plus 1 over s plus 3 will be okay, negative 2 times of the result in number 1. And number 1 here. Hence, the inverse Laplace of negative 4 over s over s plus 1 over s plus 3 okay, will be equal to the, okay, this is, as we have the, Inverse Laplace of negative 2 over 3 times of 2 over s minus 3 over s plus 1 plus 1 over s plus 3. Hence the result compared to number 2 here is actually multiplied by negative 2. So you have negative 2 over 3, 2. Because inverse Laplace of 2 over s, you get 2. Inverse Laplace of 3 over s plus 1, you get 3. Negative 3 exponent negative t. Inverse Laplace of 1 over s plus 3, you get exponent negative 3t. So number 3 compared to number 2 is actually multiplied by negative 2 times. Okay. However, the second term of the okay, yt yeah, is negative 4 multiplied exponent negative 3s. So the second time, okay, the second term of the right hand side of the yt is actually is negative four times uh, of exponent negative three s. This one, uh. so 
So using second shift property, it says that inverse Laplace of exponent negative a s f s equal to f p minus a h p minus b. That's why the inverse Laplace involving exponent negative 3s, it, when you compare here, so mean a is 3. So your result, you should have multiplied by h t minus 3. Okay, and then the f t minus a. To get f t minus a, you need to get f s. Okay, this is your f s. Yeah. You compare okay, this one with the second shift property, hence this is your fs taking inverse of your fs where we have obtained the result in 3 here 3 this is your ft okay then you compare okay the inverse laplace that you're going to find okay, uh, found using second shift property so fs will be negative 4 over s over s plus 1 over s plus 3 okay ft is actually what you have found in result number 3 here. And using the second shift property, this result should be Ft minus 3. Ft minus 3. Ht minus 3. So Ft is from number 3. So number 3, all the t, make sure you have a bracket replaced by t minus 3. So t minus 3. Okay, and remember y t composed of two terms. Okay, where this is okay, 2 over s over s plus 1 over s plus 3, where you obtain the result in number 2. Number 2. Alright. Uh, result in number 2. Okay, and the inverse Laplace of negative 4 exponent negative 3 s over s over s plus 1 over s plus 3. Where applying the second shift property, you obtain here. Okay. So this is uh, uh, solving the differential equation involving the unit step function. To solve the differential equation, the step is still the same. First step takes the Laplace transform. Second step insert initial condition. Third step solve for your ys. Fourth step taking the inverse Laplace. Okay, if your different the right hand side of the differential equation involving the step function, then you need to change it to unit step function. Unit step function here. Change the unit step function and then to take the okay, Laplace transform for your unit step function. You have here H T minus A. The Laplace transform exponent negative a s over s, okay, and Laplace transform for unit step function f t minus a h t minus a. The result is exponent negative a s f s, okay, and then if you have the expression exponent negative a s f s, the inverse Laplace should have f t minus a h t minus a. So to get f t minus a, you have to identify your f s. Okay, then taking the inverse Laplace or Fs, you get Ft. Then from the t, you change it to, identify here, this is a. t, you change to t minus a. And the result, don't forget to multiply by ht minus a, which is here. And which is this one. The inverse Laplace of negative 4, exponent negative 3s over s, plus 1 over s plus 3. Okay, the fs is negative 4 over s over s plus 1 over s plus 3. Taking the inverse Laplace of your fs, you can obtain the result in number 3. Okay, and applying the second shift property, this result, okay, the inverse Laplace should be, because the a here is 3, should be ft minus 3. Multiply ht minus 3. So, so we have ht minus 3. ft minus 3. From the ft, T here you change with T minus 3. Okay, with this case, thank you for your attention and watching this video.